Hello and welcome to Chiropractic Part 1 Board Exam Review. This series is specifically designed for the Board of Chiropractic Examiners Part 1 Board Exam. Within this series, we are going to cover all of the individual sections that are tested on Part 1, breaking them all down into their individual components and covering most, if not all, of the material that has been seen on boards in the past and is most likely to appear on boards going forward. This, we're gonna start talking about the National Board of Chiropractic Examiners Part 1 Test Plan. So this specifically goes over and shows the six units that Part 1 boards covers, as well as in these windows, the individual sections that they potentially can test on. These windows and all of this information is available on the NBCE website. <clears throat> all you have to do is go to NBCE, look up part one test plan, and it will give you this entire breakdown. In this video, this video is going to be the introduction into each of the, into what these sections are, as well as the general structure and plan of this course in order to pass part one on the first go around. So we have general anatomy, spinal anatomy, physiology, chemistry, pathology, and microbiology. These percentages next to each of these sections indicates roughly what percentage of the overall questions are going to appear from that topic. The exam consists of approximately 255 questions and it is now given in any order. You no longer take the exam in individual sections, which means that each question that you could have and moving on to the next question can be from one of any of these topics. So you could have a question from spinal anatomy and the next question could be coming from chemistry. The question after that could come from microbiology. The benefit to doing it this way is that you only get one score instead of a score in each individual section, thus boosting the likelihood that you can pass the entire exam. <clears throat> this specific board review structure is going to work like this. There will be YouTube videos provided which cover the lecture material. This is the general material that is primarily covered within the board exams and the delivery of this material will all be by me. It's going to be very clear, very specific, as well as indicating what sort of material has primarily been covered in the past, what they like to ask questions about, as well as the way that they might ask those types of questions. Following that, there will be plenty of practice questions and practice exams, not only for you to do on your own, but there will be videos in which we go through and break down the questions as well as go through the best ways of how to answer these questions and how to break down test questions if we do not know the answer right away. Finally, we also have a flashcard review portion. The flashcard review, this is meant to be kind of the final preparation before the exam to cover a lot of material very, very quickly as our final review in order to right before, right before we go in to take those exams. Each of our lecture material videos are gonna be broken down into 10 to 15 minute chunks in order for those to be more digestible and easier to follow along and go through, as well as it makes it easier to break them down into individual topics in order to look and see what is covered in each of those chunks um, and be able to explain in detail everything that goes on. Some may be slightly shorter than 10 minutes, some might be slightly longer than 15 minutes, but this should be the approximate range of all of those videos. <clears throat> With this, this program that I'm developing and will continue to develop and continue to improve and build upon, part of the benefit is that you are going to have access to me directly. 
through this entire board review program, I want this to be a, a constant conversation. And those who have specific questions, who have specific concerns, I encourage you to reach out to me directly, either through the comments on the videos or through other means of communication, either email or phone, in order to continue to work and improve this program. I am human and I do make mistakes. So if there are any mistakes noted within this program, I do want you to advise me and let me know so that I can not only correct them, but I can also improve the entire program itself. With that being said, feel free to move on to the next video and begin your first chunk of lecture material. Good luck.